Hello. How do you do? How do you do? I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> good Fair good. to Midland. Mom. Wow. Fair to Midland. <laughs> um, so I'm going to ask you a series of questions today. We're going to do a get to know you. Oh, okay. Is that okay? Yeah. As long as I get to answer, I ask you questions. No. Yes. No. Then I'm not. You do or I don't. Mom. You do or I don't. No. This is the channel. You do or I don't. I guess the you channel do. ends. Bye, everybody. Bye, I love you. <laughs> All right, let me ask you a few questions. Are you going to let me? I'll let you ask me one. Whoops, I'm moving the thing. I'll let you ask me one or two questions. No. That's all you're getting, Mom. No. That's all you're getting. That's all you're getting, then. By the way. Yes. This video is going to be sponsored by Scentbird because your Scentbirds came. I know. I'm glad. Okay, good. Um, we're sitting somewhere different, too. We're at the Red Maple Cafe in Toluca Lake. We're out on the back patio, and it's a beautiful day, so we thought we would take advantage of that. Yes. We love the Red Maple Cafe. We, we do. We do. Okay. Which unconventional animal do you wish you could have as a pet? A baby chimpanzee. Okay, adorable. Yes. What do you do when it grows up? I have to buy a farm sanctuary. A farm sanctuary? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, well that's... How about a little spider monkey? Cute, yes. cute. What if it bites your face in the middle of the night? It won't, it'll love me. It will? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, in your opinion, yes. what is the worst song? Song? Song. Like what song is the worst oh, song? Oh, I know exactly what song. I can't stand it. What? It's the one when you were a teenager that I couldn't stand that song. What? I didn't think you were going to be all right. Mom, what? what song? Fish eggs or fish heads or something fishy. Mom, that song's a classic. <laughs> For who? Fish heads, fish heads, roly poly, fish heads, <laughs> fish heads, fish heads, eat them up, yum. They don't wear sweaters, they can't play baseball. No, okay. You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> do you have a morning routine? Yes, I do. What is it? Well, I uh, make peanut butter bread for my crows, and I have to get the, I have a big tray that I put um, sunflower chips. Well, I don't have to tell you everything I put on it, but I fill the tray for my squirrel. And then I hang up the birdhouse with bird seed in it. Uh -huh. And then I feed my crows, my squirrels, my doves, my little birds. That sounds nice. Yes. And then I get myself together. I'm going to move this camera just a little bit. Okay. Um, what is on top of your bucket list? I want to go to Thailand. I said Vietnamese, Vietnam last time, but I meant... Thailand. Uh, Thailand is gorgeous. Yeah. Thailand I, is a really beautiful country. I watched um, a video of Thailand and I fell in love with it. Really? Yes. It's so beautiful. The big, huge waterfalls and the trees. So magnificent. Oh, it is gorgeous. I love Thailand. I know you've been there. I have been there. Okay. Do you like cities or remote places better? Oh, remote places over in the city anytime. You know, it's strange because at first, when I first came to California to see you, I, I had eye candy everywhere I looked. It was like, oh, yay. Oh, isn't that? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. And now it's like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and I'd rather be in the country. You're afraid now? <laughs> well, it's just not like it used to be. It used to be, oh, and now it's, oh. Yeah, yeah, I, that is true. That is true. Uh, do you have a favorite type of exercise? I do. What is it? Um, other than my walker that you call a treadmill. It, I call it a treadmill because it's a treadmill. A walker is an aluminum thing that you put tennis balls on when you're 80 and you get hip replacement surgery. Yeah, but I get on it and walk on it, so it would be my walker. <laughs> okay. But nevertheless, I love to do my squats. And my leg kicks. And the leg kick is I swing my leg to see how far I can get it up and get it back. Because one day, I want to kick myself in the forehead. 
<laughs> All right. Can we talk about our some perfumes? Just take a sip. Okay, take a sip. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that allows you to try new designer fragrances each month for just $17. With each fragrance, you'll get a 30-day supply to try new fragrances before deciding if you want to buy the full-size bottle. You know that mom and grandma loved these scent birds. Mm. <coughs> oh, it's called Sexual Noir by... I don't know if that's Michel or Michael Germain. I'm terrible with that. Here's the bottle. And the name... That's Michelle. Michelle, okay. Uh, and this has vanilla, vetiver, amber, pink orchid, and jasmine. Let me have the paper. Oh, sorry. Mmm. Oh, I like this one. Oh, that's fresh. Yes, that's, that's sweet. That's grandma. That's grandma. Yeah. Grandma loved her sweet perfume. Yes, she, she always did. loved yes. her sweet ones. But it wasn't sticky sweet where it was just too right. much. Well, there was one that she loved. It smelled like cotton candy. Yeah, yes, I remember. Remember that one? I remember. Okay, so this one is still sweet, but it's okay. So then the next one, Dead Cool, fragrance number three. And this has... Juniper berries, pomelo, saffron, black violet, and blonde woods. Oh, I love saffron. Let's see how that smells. Alrighty. Oh, I like that one. I think you do. This reminds me of something. Being a man. Being a man. <laughs> is this is this a uh, unisex? I don't know. It uh. It's manly. But it's... it's like I, leather woody. You know what it is? Yeah. It's the... Uh, it's good. It's really good. I like it. Yeah, I like it. I'm glad you do. Yeah. So I that, would like to uh, smell it on you. And Glass House Kyoto in Bloom. That's the name of it? It is. There's the card. And this has... Pineapple, citrus, camellia, sandalwood, and vanilla. Hmm. See if I like this fragrance. Mm. You like that? I think you'd need a boyfriend for that one. Oh. This is also soft and sweet. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. It would be I, too dangerous for a single woman. Oh my god, mom. <laughs> yeah, the soft and sweet ones remind me of grandma. Yeah. She loved that, that smell. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah, it's nice to be able to have these variety, right? It is. As usual, we put the link in the bio. Yes. We'll put the code down, yep. and if you use the code, you'll get 55% off your first month's order. And that makes it $8. $8. Are you still genuinely liking these? I love these. Yeah, because you don't ever cancel. No, I'll never cancel. <laughs> you never cancel it. No. All right. Good. Good job. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you hold grudges or do you let go of things easily? Oh, if I'm perturbed, very upset, I'll just say it right then and there. I will not hold it in. I'll let it out. But as soon as I let it out, it's over. That's there was no more. It's over. It's done with. For me. Good. That's great. Um, what brings you the most joy? Laughter. Yeah. Yes, laughter. I love people that laugh. I love to watch a show or a video. Anything to do with laughter, I'm all for that. Okay. Uh, do you talk to yourself? Unfortunately, I do. And more unfortunately, I answer myself. Mom. It's... I, what is this conversation that you have with yourself? When do you usually talk to yourself? Well, when I, like, go up the back steps too fast and I trip over that tire mat, I just say, well, why do you do that every time? Every time. What, are you stupid? And then I go in and shut the door. Of course you're stupid. How could you not be stupid? Why do you call it a tire mat? Well, it's made out of tires. 
It's made out of rubber. Yeah. Well, so are tires. But why do you think they're specifically made out of tires? Well, what would they do with the old tires if they didn't use it to make mats? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh. Hey, that sounded like a perturbed. Uh, no, no. What? Oh, okay. So wait. So when you talk to yourself, what do you answer? Like, what do you say back to yourself? I just told you. Yes, you're stupid, or you wouldn't trip every time. Jeez. Um, what's the worst name you could give a pet? I think Ralph. Ralph. Yeah. Ralph's a cute name for a pet. Why? I think pork gristle or back fat. Well, nobody uses that. <laughs> uh, are you happy with the person that you've developed into? If not, what is the one thing that you need to change? I'm very happy with myself. I just wish that I could be in full spirits 24-7. Because I've got joy and happiness inside me. And I like to share it. If I walk past someone that isn't smiling, I'll flash a big old smile. And most of the time, I get one back. Really? Yes. It's contagious. I flashed a few people when I was in college, but I got arrested. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> I bet it is. <laughs> um, um, no, I mean, considering everything that you've gone through in your life. Yep. To be able to be a joyous, happy person, and that is amazing. Well, I don't want to be the kind of person that is downcast all the time and in a bad mood and moody, and I don't like to be even around those kind of people. I call them downers. Downers? <laughs> yeah, they're downers to me. I don't know why, but right now your hair reminds me of the dentist from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. The way he has that little side swoop and then the wave and then a little curl up on the side there. It's very cute. i got to show you a picture of what I'm talking about. Oh. It's adorable. I bet. I look like a pixie. Or no, it's good. A um, ki kiwi. What do they call those dolls with the curl on top of their head? Oh, like a cupid doll? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's in the wrong place. If there was one day you could repeatedly re-experience, which day would you choose? Repeatedly? Telling my mama and my sons how much I love them daily. But is there, is there a specific day that you can think back? Think back. Like a day that you wish you could live any time you, you could go back to that day? What day would that be? Like you can pick one day. And any time you want to visit that day, you could go back. What would that day be? That day when I got my mom loaded. Oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and he laughed so hard. Then her replies is, I thought the neighbors would call the police. <laughs> because she'd be hollering, this feels so good. Oh. <laughs> I said, do you want any more? No, keep it coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's one day I'd like to relive. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was a great. That's funny. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, well, I have more than that. With uh, when you and I laugh so hard. With well, we always laugh so I hard. I know, but that one particular day when you were a teenager, where I called you out on something, where you were playing dumb. <laughs> the flower. Oh, jeez, we're not gonna get in. The, <laughs> oh God. <I'm> stupid. <laughs> uh, how old would you want to be if you weren't aware of your actual age? I was really hot at 40. <laughs> so I'd like to get a, a, a maybe a facelift and look like the, that way again. Well, 40 is a good age because you're, you're wiser. You're, you've, got, you, you've got a lot of experience under your belt. I wiped off all of that that I didn't need on me. All the bad vibes and all the negativity and all the unhappiness. I, I shook that all off when I was 40. Good. And I blossomed into what I am now. An old lady. <laughs> Mom, you look amazing. <laughs> oh, huh. Oh, huh. You do. You all look sons say that about their mamas. Uh, and, and a million people every day we do a video. Like, get real. You look, Mom, you've looked beautiful your entire 
from birth till now. No, I was 16 when I started. Everybody said I was pretty. I didn't believe that. Well, do you believe it now? No. <laughs> no. Because I can see myself in the mirror. Gosh, you're too hard on yourself. Uh, if you could live in a different time period or a e different era, which one would you choose and why? Oh, I'll tell you which one. It would be the one where I had a vision of when I lived way, way back in the day. They, let me tell you. Okay. I Here was, it comes. I was vacuuming. Here comes the dramatics. I was vacuuming. So you were a servant back in the olden days. No. I was vacuuming my own home. Oh, so you had your own home, but you weren't rich enough to have servants. Well, I wouldn't want servants. Okay, so what period was this when you were vacuuming your home? Back then I wanted it. But it probably the 18th century. The 18th century? Yes. And I was noble blood. And this is a vision that I had. I stopped vacuuming and I saw this beautiful china closet and it was full of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful teacups and saucers and it was beautiful. And I could see myself standing there and my hair was up and it had long curls hanging down in the most gorgeous, beautiful dress you've ever seen in your life. But what if you were a lady's maid and I wasn't and that you were poor and everybody was like dying of famine and hunger and disease and war no well maybe that happened outside my castle <laughs> you know I don't think they had plumbing back then oh they had trenches you had to eat your poop don't be like that <laughs> they had trenches <laughs> they had trenches and moats for for the waste is that where it went I don't know. I just had a vision of me being there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I should ask you some more questions. Or I should ask you questions. I thought you forgot about that. No, I didn't. So, uh, while I'm thinking of it... What? <laughs> Mom. Oh. I want to ask you questions. Alright, but I'm not going to get on camera. Yeah, you are. Mom. Well, that was the deal. No, the deal was you ask questions. Yes, I'm going to... Uh, on camera. For our, our extended family, our friends, our brothers, sisters, mamas, papas, everybody out there that we love. That, that nobody wants to see me. They do. Nobody wants to hear from me. Oh, I, you're gar a I um, guarantee it. No, I, you're, a, you're a prince charming. Mom, what? stop. No. Don't say that. Well, don't you talk to me in that tone of voice, or you'll go to don't your call room. me Prince Charming. You are what? Prince Charming. Mom. What? That's awful. Yeah, you told me not to call you Baby Dolly. Now I can't call you yeah. Prince Charming. Mom. What? Jeez. <laughs> All right. Let me set the phone up. All right. <laughs> <laughs>